Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Kamran and this channel is all about to show you how to become an IT pro really really fast. In this video, we are going to talk about Zorin OS and the title of this video is Zorin OS for Windows users. Zorin OS is a Linux based distribution. It is based on Ubuntu. If you are a Windows user and you are planning to move to the Linux based distribution, then the Zorin OS is the best operating system that you can consider because the look and feel of the Zorin OS, the user interface and somehow the functionality of the operating systems and applications are very similar to the Windows operating system. The Zorin OS comes with a lot of features and one of its built-in features allows you to customize or change its user interface so you can make your Zorin OS that resembles with the Microsoft Windows or Mac OS. So this was the introduction of the Zorin OS and in this video we will download and install the Zorin OS and then we will talk about its features. So let's download and install the Zorin OS. So first of all you have to open up your favorite browser and you have to search for Zorin OS. Alright so you simply have to click on the first link. It is the Zorin OS official website and as you can see that it is written here that Zorin OS is the alternative to Windows and Mac OS. It is designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, secure and privacy respecting. In order to download the Zorin OS you simply have to click on this button and we have got the four editions of Zorin OS Ultimate, Core, Light and Education. So if you want to compare the editions and want to see that what is suitable for you then you please click here and this is the comparison table of Zorin OS editions. So if we discuss the two or three features of the different editions. So first it comes the LibreOffice Suite. It is available in Ultimate, Core, Lite and Education version. The Advanced Desktop which is based on GNOME is available in Ultimate, Core and Education. And here you can see that we have got multiple features and their comparison. Alright, so now let's move on to the downloading of the operating system. The Zorin Ultimate is not available for free. You have to purchase it for the $39. But the other editions of Zorin OS like Core, Lite and Education are available for free. So I'm gonna download the core edition of Zorin operating system and we will install it in this video. So in order to download it, you simply have to click here and you have to click on download. Now you can sign up to their newsletter and you can download the Zorin OS. But if you want to skip to download, then you have to click on skip to download and the downloading will start. So now you can see that we are redirected to this website. It will automatically start the downloading. All right, so now you have to save this ISO file in a directory and uh, therefore you have to click on save. All right, the Zorin OS is successfully downloaded and now let's install it. I'm going to install the Zorin OS core edition in the virtual box. So I will simply click on new but you can also install the Zorin OS as your primary operating system. So now I will write the name of my operating system which is Zorin OS and now I will select the machine folder where I want to store the files of this operating system. Alright so I want to store it in this folder and the type is Linux and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit because the Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu so therefore the version is Ubuntu 64 bit. So once you have done this click on next and now you have to assign the RAM memory to this virtual machine of Zorin OS. So for Zorin Ultimate Education and the core version you need 2 GB of RAM and you need 10 GB storage and for the Zorin Lite version you need 512 megabytes of RAM and the storage could be like 8 GB or 10 GB. But for the safe side, I'm going to assign the 4 GB of memory to this Zorin OS virtual machine and then click on next. I want to create a virtual hard disk for that and now you have to select the hard disk file type which is virtual box disk image click on next and uh, the memory is dynamically allocated and now you have to assign the size to your virtual machine so I'm going to write here 20 gigabytes and click on create. 
All right, so now let's click on start and here you have to select the ISO file and you can see that the Zorin operating system 15.3 core 64 bit dot ISO file is selected and the version of Zorin OS core edition is 15.3. So let's click on start. All right, so now you can install Zorin operating system or you can also install the Zorin operating system with the NVIDIA drivers. So if you select the NVIDIA drivers, then it will automatically install the NVIDIA drivers with the Zorin operating system. All right, so if you are trying to install the Zorin OS on VirtualBox, then you really need to perform the steps that I have explained previously. But if you are installing Zorin OS as your host operating system or primary operating system, then you do not not need to perform these steps that I have explained previously. If you are trying to install Zorin OS as a host operating system, then the installation will start from here. Now you have to select the language. So the English is selected by default. I am okay with this. Now you can try Zorin operating system or you can install it. So if you want to try it, you have to click here and uh, interface will appear. You can try the look and feel of the Zorin operating system. But in order to install it, you simply have to click here. Next, you have to choose the keyboard layout. The English US keyboard layout is selected by default. But if you want to select any other keyboard layout, then you can select it from the given list. So once you have selected the keyboard layout, then you simply have to click on the continue button on this screen you can see that it is related to updates and the other software download updates while installing Zorin operating system install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats so what it will do it will automatically install the required drivers and the other utilities if you do not want to participate in the census then you have to click on this checkbox and the census lets the Zorin operating system developers count the number of users anonymously so I don't want to do that uh, so therefore I have selected here then click on continue next you have to select the installation type this computer currently has no detected operating system so I want to erase the disk and install the Zorin operating system but you can also encrypt the new Zorin operating system installation for security or you can select any other option as well all right so once you have selected your desired option then you have to click on the install now button these changes will be made to your disk if you continue the changes listed below will be written to the disk I will simply click on continue now you have to select your region so the time and the date will be selected according to your region so I'm going to select Halifax here and then you have to click on continue all right so now you have to create a user for your Zorin operating system you have to fill the information in this form and it will create a new user. So let's write the name here. I'm going to write here Linux and my computer name is also Linux. My username is Linux. Now you have to choose a password. So enter the password value in the given field. Then you have to confirm your password by entering your password again in this field. All right, so now let's click on the continue button. The installation is started and now it will take a couple of minutes to install Zorin operating system. All right, the installation is complete and now we need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So simply click on restart now button. All right, so the Zorin operating system is restarted and here you can see that it is the lock screen and I have got my username here. So if I click on that, a password field appears and I have to enter my password in order to sign in or log in. So after entering the password, simply click on sign in. This is the dashboard screen of Zorin operating system and now let's explore it. At the bottom, we have a panel and here you can see that we have the date and time information as we have in Windows operating system. And similarly, we have the battery icon, volume control, and many other beautiful icons are here. So if I click here, you can see that it shows the system related information. On the left side of this panel, we have got an icon for the Zorin software center, and we will discuss the software center later, and it is our file manager icon. So if I click on it, a new window is opened here, and you can see that we have multiple directories if I go to the documents directory it is empty and similarly we have got multiple directories here 
So the look and feel of the Zorin operating system dashboard screen is uh, similar to the Windows operating system. And now let's talk about the browser. The Mozilla Firefox is a default web browser for Zorin operating system and it comes pre-installed. But you can also install your other favorite browsers like Google Chrome or the Chromium web browser. This is the application menu icon. So if I click on it, you can see that the application menu appears. The application menu is very similar to the Windows operating system application menu. And because in Windows, we also have this type of menu. And here there are multiple categories like accessories, games, the graphics. So if I click on accessories, you can see that we have got calculator, clocks, files, maps, text editor, to do and weather. So if you want to go back, you simply have to click here and we are back. And now let's click on games and you can see that there are multiple games that comes pre-installed in Zorin operating system. Similarly, we have got the graphics category and we have the GNU image manipulation tool, but we call GIMP and the document viewer, LibreOffice draw, short well simple scan so you can click on the relevant uh, category and you can explore it in zorin operating system the office suit is libreoffice so if i click on office you can see that we have libreoffice base libreoffice draw the libreoffice writer evolution is the default email client for the zorin operating system and now let's talk about uh, these options if I click on it, it will open the home directory. And similarly, if you want to go to the documents directory, then you can click here. And for the downloads directory, you can click on the downloads option. And similarly, we have the option for music, pictures, and videos. For opening up the Zorin operating system software center, you can click here and this is the settings option. So now let's click on settings and now let's explore it. All right, so this is the settings uh, application dashboard screen and we have got multiple options on the left side. For performing the settings related to your Wi-Fi, you can click here. This is the Bluetooth option and this is the appearance category. All right, so now let's select it. This is the background image of my Zorin operating system. And this is the lock screen image for Zorin operating system. So if I click on background, it will show multiple wallpapers. These are very eye catching, elegant and beautiful. So I can select one according to my own preference and I'm okay with the default one. And similarly, if you want to set some picture as a wallpaper, so you can go to the pictures tab, you can click here, you can select the picture and you can apply it. And if you simply want to apply some color on your screen, then you can go to the colors tab, you can select any color and apply it. But here you can see that we have also got an option that is Zorin appearance. So now let's click here and it seems to be an advanced appearance setting option. In the Zorin appearance, we have got four tabs. The first is desktop, the other is theme, fonts and panel. All right, so this is the default layout of the Zorin operating system that is selected by default. And uh, for example, if you want to select this layout, then you have to simply click on it. And you can see that the layout of my operating system is now totally changed. Now the icons appear here. So you can select any layout according to your own preference. On the desktop, we do not have any icon, but you can have the icon of home directory on your desktop. And similarly, you can have the trash icon, the network servers as well. This is the title bar buttons option. So by default, the title bar buttons are on the right side. But if you want to create a Mac OS type look, then you can uh, select the left option and now you can see that the button appears on the left side but in the windows we have the title bar buttons on the right side and in the zorin operating system the title bar buttons are also on the right side by default now let's go to the theme tab and these are the backgrounds that are available these are the colors and for the application if you want to select a theme you can select from the given list and similarly you have the theme for icons and you have the theme for shell as well now let's go to the fonts and to select a font you can explore this category and you can select a font according to your choice now let's go to panel 
the position of the panel on screen is on bottom but if you want to place your panel on the top then you can select the top position as well and you can see that the panel now appears on the top but in my case it looks more beautiful at the bottom default height of the panel is 48 but you can also increase it and decrease it as well so that was all about appearance and similarly we have notifications language and region if you want to change the language then you can click here you can select a language and uh, you have got option for the online accounts you can add your accounts here for example you can add the google account next cloud facebook microsoft and multiple accounts the benefit of connecting to your online account is that you can get the notifications on your uh, desktop and similarly it is the privacy option so screen lock is on location services are off by default but you can enable it usage and history is on so you can also uh, disable it by clicking here so that was all about the settings application now let's discuss the zorin software center it is a very helpful and useful utility you can install the useful applications into your uh, zorin operating system through the zorin software center for example if you want to install any particular application then you can go to the search bar for example i want to install the chromium web browser so i will write here chromium and the web browser will appear here so here you can see that is the chromium web browser if you click on it we have got an install button so in order to install it you simply have to click on this install button and it will be installed in your Zorin operating system i just took the chromium web browser as an example but you can also install any type of useful application on your operating system this is the section for the editors pick we have the famous and very useful applications here and these are the recommended games that you can install on zorin now let's talk about the gaming on zorin operating system most of the gamers use the windows operating system because playing games on the windows operating system is very easy it is very efficient but when it comes to the linux based distributions the Zorin operating system has made its place. It is the top choice for the gamers if they are considering the Linux based distributions. So for example, if you want to play games, then you can go to the Zorin software center, click on the search bar and search for Steam. You have got the Steam package in the Zorin software center. So you will find it here. All right, so this is the Steam package. Uh, you can easily install it into your Zorin operating system. We have multiple games available on Steam. You can select any game, you can play it and enjoy it on your system. Now let's talk about the community of the Zorin operating system. The community support of the Zorin is very vast because it is built on the Ubuntu operating system. And we know that the Ubuntu community is very wide so if you have got any problem you can go to the community forums or you can go to the internet you can post your question or your problem and you will get the solution right away if you want to run the window based applications on your zorin operating system then you can install wine as well or you can install the play on linux and you will get the support for the window based applications as well so that was all about this video i hope you really enjoyed it if you really like this video then give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to our channel then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our upcoming videos and if you have any feedback then please let us know about your feedback in the comment section so that's it for this video thank you so much and see you in the next video